All right, so let's try this one. Uh, this one says use properties of integration, or the integral, uh, and the formulas in the summary to calculate the integrals. Now, the only formulas that we really need here is for um, x squared. And since there's no x squared in here, you don't have to worry about it yet. So I'm going to break this up. We're going to have uh, negative 3 to 2 of 4x um, dx plus, and some of you guys will use shortcuts after you understand this. Um, I just need to go slowly to make sure you guys all get it. Plus 7 dx. All right, so I just I just broke it up because of the laws of linearity, and uh, oh, I can take that four out right there. So we take the four out. <coughs> I can factor him out, and so this is what I have. I have four um, negative three to two of x dx plus. Uh, wait, how's that a five? That's supposed to be a five. No, that's supposed to be negative five, three. And then negative 3 to 2, 7 dx. Okay, now there is, um, I think there is a formula for this one. Um, but I'd rather look at it graphically to help you guys understand it. So we have two graphs we got to look at. we got to look at this graph right there and this graph right there. Um, so let's, uh, let's see. y equals x. We'll look at that graph. Ooh. And the other one is y equals 7. Now, y equals 7, um, let's do that one really fast because that one's so easy. This is going to go up to 7. Uh, I don't know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh, that's too much. Anyways, that's up to 7. So uh, we're going from the interval uh, negative 3 to 2. So what's the area underneath this curve? What shape is that? That's a rectangle. No problem. Um, the distance from the negative 3 to 2 is 5, and what's the height? 7. So what's the area of that? Yeah, there you go. So we have plus 35. That's this guy. He was the quick one. The other one is um, x, and we know what that looks like. That's just a straight line that's diagonal, perfectly diagonal. And it goes from negative 3 to 2. So we have two triangles here. We have this triangle right here and this triangle right here. Are we going to get a positive or negative area of this? Yeah, because there's more negatives than there are positives. So uh, the area of this triangle is going to be uh, the base, which is negative 3, times the height, which is also negative 3, because, uh, because it's uh, the x. If I plug in negative 3, I'm going to get negative 3 down here. So this is negative 3. So we have negative 3, negative 3 and we're multiplying it by one half. Um, actually, it's weird to call them negatives because you can't have a negative distance, but anyways. So that's nine, and we're multiplying it by one half, so it's divided by two, and this is a negative area. We know that because it's below the x-axis. Uh, the other one is going to be uh, two times two times one half, which is just going to be two. So we have negative nine uh, over two and two. We have to combine those. So negative 9 over 2 plus, uh, let's see, 2 would be over 1. But if we make that over 2, the top would be a 4. And if I add those, I get negative 5 over 2. So I have negative 5 over 2. And don't forget, we have a 4 multiplying to this. So now I just have to simplify this, and you got your answer. So I get, um, let's see, let's simplify this. That's going to be 2. That's going to be 1. So I get negative 10 plus 35. That gives me 25. And that's your answer for that one. So just to recap, um, for each integral right here, there's, we have this integral and this integral. For this integral, we have a rectangle. We found the area of the rectangle. No problem. For this integral right here, we have uh, this x function, which is just a straight line. And we went from negative 3 to 2. So that's where I draw my, my lines to the, to the curve or to the line to, uh, to find my shapes. That's what we did over here, too. At negative 3 and at 2, we drew our lines to find our shapes. And so here, because this area is below the x-axis, that's a negative area. We found that to be negative 9 over 2. And this, because it's above the x-axis, um, it's positive. And we found it to be uh, 2. And we found common denominator, so we have 4 over 2, we add those together, we get negative 5 over 2. And that's why we have a negative 5 over 2 right here. Because this part right here, whoops, this part right here, 
gives us this because that, that part's just the area. But then we have to multiply it by 4, so we do that, then we add it to 35, that's how we got 25.